I'm Vijay LaRosa. I'm the Vice President of Global Security Architecture for ADP. We're the world's leading provider of global human capital management solutions. So over the last few years, as we've instrumented our network intensively, we've been collecting data on the order of magnitude of somewhere between 8 to 12 billion events a day. Uh, it's a tremendous amount of information, and to be able to actually make use of that data, it's a, it's a challenge. We've been looking for ways to be able to leverage that information and harness the power of that information, and that's really what brought us to, uh, to ExaBeam as a technology. The three things we use ExaBeam for are threat surface reduction, situational awareness, and lateral movement detection. Uh, from a, a threat surface reduction perspective, really what we're looking for with this technology is to be able to understand how our privileged users are uh, executing activity on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the things that we're, we're worried about is making sure that from a policy perspective, we have people separating their their uh, privileged user accounts from the regular everyday users' accounts. Uh, we don't want people who have uh, accounts that they use for reading email or browsing the web also having the same level of privileges to be able to go out and patch servers or make changes uh, in Active Directory or Exchange. So being able to profile how our accounts are being used and being able to understand from uh, an Active Directory perspective which ones are privileged and which ones are not privileged and being able to maintain that, that due diligence of, of separation monitoring monitoring is something that's really important to us. Uh, from a situational awareness perspective, really what this is all about is being able to understand when we're investigating activity on our network, what, what really has been going on. In, in the past, when we would have uh, any sort of alert that we would have to investigate, it could take us a really long time. It could take us you know, a week or more to really footprint that environment and understand all of the users that are coming and going and who's involved in using different systems uh, from a user account perspective, where those users go to, where they come from what networks, what workstations. Uh, it, it's an extensive amount of digging and it's prone to human error. Pulling all of that information together and being able to actually chain it all together and show the end-to-end -end results of who came and who went, what they did, when they did it, uh, and, and possibly why they were doing it is a, is a significant amount of manual work. And with this technology today, we literally can just plug in a username or an IP address or a computer name and know instantly does this user perform this activity on a regular basis? Is this computer that's being used normally used this way? And almost overnight, we've gained an immense operational efficiency uh, that uh, has been extraordinarily beneficial to us. From a lateral movement detection perspective, this is, uh, this is what I would consider always on threat hunting. So having a technology that's literally looking for the outliers inside of our data and looking for people who don't normally transition from a regular user to a privileged user and then access different assets across different zones inside of our network, being able to call out that information very quickly and put that in front of us in a very friendly user interface that we can click on and we can see everything that's happening and understand the who, what, when, where, and why, uh, that is, uh, that, that, that's every analyst's dream. And in the past, using SIM technologies, we've, we've, we've always aspired to be able to have that capability, but it's not been something that we've been able to achieve uh, until now with the ExaBeam technology. The reality is this stuff just works. It, it's real. It is not snake oil. And machine learning technologies today have extreme benefits. The, the value that this brings at an, at an organizational level is, is immense. The reality is if you're not looking to use this technology in your organization, uh, you're missing out on some clear benefits uh, that you could be harnessing uh, inside of your security operations center.